Hey, hey friends. So I am back here in this giant hole. <laughs> so what are we doing in a hole? This hole is going to be our melon and pumpkin farm, which is going to mostly be underground because I couldn't, I didn't have any great inspiration on how to make a melon and pumpkin farm look great above ground. And then also I want to put the farmer um, trading right above it. So we have a whole system that I have put together in Lightmatica and I'm going to, I've already placed it here. So I'm just going to toggle it on so you can see it right there. Um, let me move out of the way. How I can't see anything. <laughs> um, Minecart emptying system. I'm not really sure what that's called. A minecart unloader? Yeah, hopper minecart unloader. I have put them together in one module that I have saved in my Lightmatica schematics. And that way, in any world that I have, I can just place it in that world and then it'll be easy. I don't really have to look up the tutorial again, but I did want to make sure to credit those creators that um, design this and share the tutorials with the community. So those I will definitely be putting in my finished build as well, because I really like to, um, I really like to have a record of where I got everything because after a while you have so much you know, so many things you've built and so many tutorials that you forget whose is whose. And of course I'll have the links in my description, but in when I'm playing in my world, I do want to remember, you know, who, where I got these ideas from. This is okay, the materials so for the melon and pumpkin farm. I don't have everything ready for the items sorting system and the collections well um the dropper system yet because those those i did after the fact and decided to to add them to the module here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build this and i'm not going to show you guys but i'm going to come back when it's done so that you can see the finished product at least the melon and pumpkin farm i don't know how far i'm going to get on the um collection system yet because the I think the only thing I'm missing is slime and I'm gonna have to go on like a slime run to get it and maybe I should have bought that slime from the trader earlier but I didn't have any emeralds so that's life anyway I'm gonna build this and I will see you back here when it's done So this is our melon and pumpkin farm. It's working pretty good. I've got the platform for the villager trading. I've got um, 
this is the impulse SV item sorter. I do not have the filters in yet, so um, you know I'll do that in a little bit later. But I've got all the redstone in for that. This is the water elevator that I needed the kelp for and the soul sand. We've got the minecarts running. Of course, the pistons and the observers are running. All the redstone is in for all of that. So that's awesome. The only redstone we're missing for our whole system to be functional is this area right here. So we've got, we need a sticky piston there and I don't have slime yet. So that's what my next mission is. But then there's that sticky piston will push this observer in front of this observer, which they're not there yet either. But these two observers will then um, talk to this dropper and the soul sand will be on top of the dropper and all the uh, melons and pumpkins so far are in there. And um, they will shoot the melons and pumpkins up this elevator and then they will go into the system to get sorted. So um, I'm actually gonna take these out just so we don't get overflowed here and, um, and we do need to go find some slime so that will be whoops that will be the next um, objective before we can finish this one more thing i need to do as well is i need to close off the sides of this guy here because um like you saw earlier i picked up a pumpkin see this stuff falls off over the edge and then the the minecart can't pick it up so it's right now it's not as efficient as it could be but we will get that all fixed up too once we get some, um, you know, decorating and cleaning up done over here. Um, so yeah, so I will meet you back here if I ever find some slime to make that sticky piston. Well, I am back and um, honestly, it's been a while since I last recorded. So some things have changed and I'm going to try to remember what we talked about last time without going back and watching this footage because I really have a small window of time to get this recorded. So um, I, you can see behind me, I've done some building. Um, I think last time we did talk about making a melon and pumpkin farm and, and I made most of it. And I think I was looking for slime for a sticky piston and I did find it and I made my sticky piston and we've got the whole farm running and let's go take a look at it real quick. Also, you notice that I have on some shiny purple armor. That's leather armor and chainmail armor that I got from my skeleton spawner. So this is the farm that we made, um, the melon and pumpkin farm. It is down in this big hole that I showed you guys last time. So yes, here it is. And this is that sticky piston and it's moving everything from this dropper up that water elevator let's see yep there you go you can kind of see the melon and pumpkin farm up there i did put some glass around it because so i wouldn't lose i was losing melons and pumpkins on the ground so that keeps something from falling off the edge and yeah you can see let me move out of here so i don't get hit you can see the things going up that water column well you could a minute ago um and so here you can see I've got some signs that just say where I got the tutorials for each of these things. Got to give credit where credit is due. Definitely did not come up with any of these systems myself. Yep, there goes some melons and pumpkins. So this is just the access to the redstone and everything just in case I ever need... Um, ever need to change it or fix it or whatever. It's just easy to access. And this, so this is basically just like set up kind of like a little shed 
in a way. Here, let's go back out here and I'll show you the building. So I did all this in a creative world and used Lightmatica to build it because I was having such a hard time trying to build it here in survival. I tore this thing down oh, a good three times before I was just uh, decided I needed to go ahead and put it in Lightmatica and build it this that way because yeah, it was just getting it was getting crazy. I've got some a little chest monster here. I've got to clean up. Actually, let me get this fish. I was able to find a cat. Um, I haven't tamed it yet, so I wanted to tame it with you guys. So I've only got four fish. So let's let's hope this works. Oh, first try. Look at that. So this is our cat. That is awesome. I'm happy. We have a kitty cat now. It's cool because growing up, the only cat I ever had was a little orange striped tabby looking cat. So I am happy. You can stay there for now, cat. These are just some llamas I got from the wandering trader. I don't know what happened to him. He was here and then he wasn't. So I have adopted his llamas. Um, those trapdoors are just aesthetic. They don't go anywhere. This is just a little aesthetic wheat field, some pumpkins around just for some some ambiance. This is our, the same with this little wheat, wheat and carrot field. None of this is for anything. It's just because it's cute. <laughs> and that tree is a custom tree. It's not that great. I'm not great at custom trees. I'm trying to get better, but that's, that's a custom tree. <laughs> okay. So these are our farmers. I brought them over from the village. Well, I brought these two guys over and then they made a little, a little guy and he grew up to be this farmer. So they live here. This whole area is, um, the light levels are all good. It's not spawnable. Um, and, and then I've got this wall around so that mobs can't get in. So I'm hoping that's good enough. I mean, what's the worst that can happen is that they get zombified and then I have to cure them, which I'm going to do eventually anyway. So We've leveled them all up and they've got the both they both got both the melons and the pumpkin trades and of course now we have switched our diet to golden carrots. So this is our storage. This is that awesome um, impulse SV item sorter and then this is the overflow and I've been keeping some extra stuff in here. These items get put in that chest because I think they're going too fast when they come up this water stream and so they don't get sucked down into the right chests and then they just end up in there. And then like I said, I'm just kind of storing some stuff. I did get a mending villager over at the village and he's still there. Um, I haven't moved him yet, but I did move two other guys and they're in this dirt hut here. You can hear them. So these guys are chilling in here. I don't know, I'm gonna make a breeder next, I believe. I'm gonna make a villager breeder before I start building out the buildings for the other. Um, these, these stairs go up to nothing. I mean, there's, there's just an empty room up here. I don't know what I'll put up here, but I mean, I haven't even finished all this out yet. So I figured I would wait until I needed, until I needed to put stuff up here. And a lot of times I do like to click, to clean this up so it doesn't look ugly. I might put some trap doors there just to cover that, but um, whatever, we'll see. Let me go ahead and sleep. Okay, so like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time. Um, this video is probably getting pretty long anyway, and I also don't really know what I'm going to record next. I've got a really busy couple of weeks coming up in real life, and so I'm just kind of trying uh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I can do and um, if I can even put out. I've been trying to put out two videos a week, um, but I, that might change. I might be able to only handle one a week. Um, and then um, pretty soon the new Cubscriber SMP will be switching to the new season. And of course, I'm going to want to play on there as well. So um, this series, I know this is only episode four. Um, it might start I might start dividing my time between this and a Cubscriber series, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I definitely uh, want to continue 
playing here uh, just because I really like it. I like the creativity and just being able to play um, just on my own, you know, like just kind of do what I want and chill. And that's why I'm not really, even though I know I've got some busy times coming up, I'm trying not to stress about not putting out a video in time or something because honestly, this is just for fun. So I was thinking I need to put a lantern on the bottom of these slabs, but of course I don't have any scaffolding yet and I'll have to get some dirt. Um, anyway, I am going to clean up these chest monsters and maybe do a little bit more terraforming like right here. And um, I do want to start planning out some other buildings here. I need to make the villager breeder, which I guess that's going to be the next episode. We'll make a villager breeder. Um, and then of course I still need to terraform everything, get the paths. I need to, I need to like make the, the nether portal area look nice. I need to have like a legit path going up and down here. Cause it's kind of annoying hopping up all of those, all of that hill. So anyhow, that's everything. And I just wanted to show you all that so I could go ahead and get this video edited and published and everything. Um, and yeah. Um, oh, I don't know if I had these, um, these diamond tools the last time I saw you guys, but, um, they all have mending except the, except the sword because I'm not ready for that yet. But I did put mending on this pick and this ax and this, sh oh, I got a mending book so I could put it on the shovel, but I haven't yet. And then this has infinity. So, um, no mending there. And then of course I don't have great armor because I kind of don't really need it. I sleep through the night. I'm not really going to fight anything right now. And, um, it's really just, just a little added layer of protection in case I come in contact with some bad guys. But for right now, I'm not really worried about having diamond armor or anything like that. And my, my iron armor mostly broke. So I just went ahead and took some of the better enchanted pieces from the skeleton spawner just for now. Um, I kind of like the color too. So, you know, it's not too bad. Um, and then, you know, I could also dye them too and see what colors they turn out. Right. Um, I don't know. I've never done that before. Maybe that's something we can do in a little, in, in the next episode or something just for fun. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I am probably going to go ahead and end this here and I will see you guys next time. Bye.